absolutely and totally yes guys welcome back to my channel so five ways to control your emotions when you are trading when it comes to forex traders stock traders cfd traders or if you trade commodities or indices it doesn't matter how to control your emotions as you know emotions is the most important part when you trade but how to control it properly in this video i'm going to show you uh, the ways i am controlling my emotions and how you can control your emotions too for long-term success coming up right now So for this presentation, as usual, I'm giving you my opinions and my style of trading and how I, you know, control my emotions as well. Of course, I have done extensive research, you know, reading other websites, other blogs, other books about day trading and forex trading. But, you know, interesting enough, more or less, they're similar. But, uh, but here I'm going to play, you know, tell you and show you main five points. Okay. So uh, first of all, before we jump into this, we need to understand the main thing with the dangers. Okay, so my main dangers is that please, 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 you know, before that, make sure that whenever you trade, don't marry your positions, don't be affected by fear and greed and be in the zone. So basically control yourself. Okay, first, it's more really important. And also don't uh, marry your positions. This means basically when you place your trade, and don't make don't be in a greed in such position that you don't be completely completely you know uh, telling yourself that yes this is a great and this is a perfect trade guys there is no perfect trade there is not no such a thing as a perfect ideal trade and the trade can be better or worse okay it can be profitable or it can be a loss losing trade but it's impossible to, to it's impossible you know realistically to always get the trade at the, you know, at where the price is returning, okay, and then the exit trade at the very top, okay. It's not, it's, it's, okay, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen all the time. Yes, it's gonna happen, it, it can happen often, okay, but it's not gonna happen all the time. So don't marry your positions. So uh, yeah, so let's jump into the five main points, okay. Uh, five main points to, regarding emotions training and how you can control your emotions. So first things first, most important thing is most first thing, sorry. As I was always telling you, if you get three losses in a day, stop for that day. But also, uh, other books suggest, interestingly, okay, also, if you get three winning trades, one after another, okay, uh, one after another, three winning trades, you should also stop trading for, uh, for at least, you know, a period of time. But uh, please, 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 this was the, one of the golden rules, you know, for myself a long time ago about the losses. Yes, it does. It, it's really, really important. Stop trading if you get three losses. Stop trading for that day. Because first of all, you know, you need to understand why you made that losses, why did you make that mistake and all that as usual. But come back the next day and the next day, you know, your mindset will be different than the mindset uh, at the moment when you lost those trades. So make sure basically stop trading after three losing trades and also stop trading after three winning trades. Well, this is suggested by the other books. Is it true or not? Well, in my opinion, I, I place something, you know, I place up to 10, 15 trades. Well, not 15, yeah, 10 to 12 trades a day, you know. But uh, yeah, but it, because I'm, I have been trading for, for many years now. But that's the thing if you're a newbie, okay? Stick to the golden rule. And uh, thing number two, leave your screen. Oh, yeah. And the rule number two, um, you know, uh, uh, after you place the trade, if you, pl you place that trade, for example, okay, so, you know, uh, you place the you, you place your you place your uh, your your sell trade here, for example. Uh, what's the best thing to do is to you know to, when you place the trade for uh, you know uh, leave it. You'll place the trade. Uh, you know, leave your screen, leave computer, or leave your smartphone, or leave your tablet. Doesn't matter what you are using to trade. You don't need to have a desktop or computer to trade, as you know, you can trade from the smartphone and generate a full-time income from, uh, from, from on a go, right? Uh, but there's the thing, whenever you place the trade, uh, leave it, okay, and go away when you come back. Because sometimes what's gonna happen, why? Because what's gonna happen is mostly when you place the trade, you know, immediately after you place the trade, it is gonna go wrong direction, okay? It's gonna go actually, as, for example, in this case, you place the sell trade here, what happened? Oh damn, the trade actually went up, you know, and you're seeing losses and you're starting to freak out. You're starting to move your, your stop loss, your take profit levels and you're messing up your trade. 
But instead what you should do, you should leave the screen, go away, and then when you come back, you're like, oh wow, yeah, the trade actually did go up, but it did go the right direction and I made the profit. But so don't freak out, make sure to not freak out, leave your screen, go do something else. Third, third point, find out the, la, uh, the least volatile hours for the trading session. Well, this is a big point. Well, now this is, comes the question to you. What is your trading session? When do you trade? As you know, there are four trading sessions, okay? New York, Asian, Pacific, uh, and London trading sessions specifically. But I have made a separate video about uh, different Forex trading sessions and different trading Forex session hours and which are the best hours. Please watch that video on my channel. It's a really, really nice video that I made for you. Uh, really, really, you know, useful and valuable. And that's the video only, that's, that's the only video you will need about trading sessions. So I uh, find the least volatile trading sessions, okay? Because, uh, well, in my case, uh, sometimes I find, uh, you know, not least volatile sessions, but uh, uh, volatile sessions, but more volatile assets, okay? So best thing, best thing is if you find Number one, less volatile session, trade in less volatile sessions, but by trading the most volatile assets. I hope it makes sense. Uh, less volatile sessions, but more volatile assets in that session, because those will be ones that will respect, uh, you know, your pivot areas uh, more strongly. Again, it depends what your time frames you look at. So make sure you always start from daily charts. Okay, daily time frame. So, uh, fourth thing, don't look at your profit and loss while you're trading. Well, not while you're trading, while, while you have your position open, okay? So, uh, but, but um, you know, but otherwise you can freak out. I mean, this is for a little bit more experienced traders. Imagine, I, if, imagine if I place 10, 12 trades a day, right? Because we, we, we place many trades and we are also, I have signals group on Telegram, you know, and, uh, and I, sh I know I share my, my trades and all that. Um, you know, and, and what one the thing is this that I think the thing is this that imagine if I was going if I was going to look at all my ten trades that 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 are placed, for example, I will freak out. You know, I would be mentally unstable to do anything. So make sure that you don't look at your profits losses when they are running. Okay, monitor them uh, from time to time. It depends if you are a short term trader, if you are medium term trader. But what's the best if you know to, 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 to look you know uh, after after some time look at that trade again it depends you know if you if you if you if you if you if you plan to close that trade within several hours of course you know it doesn't mean that you need to look at that trade for every single minute or every five minutes what professional traders are doing you know what you know what professional traders are doing this is something that I'm not even doing but professional traders come to the desk they place the trade and they leave the office they come back you know, and just uh, see what's being hit, which stop losses are being hit, and which take profits are being hit. Well, this is, you know, like, uh, this is something, you know, I mean, this is something I don't really uh, advise you to do if you're a newbie, because we don't want to lose more than more than we are planned, you know, to, to invest for a particular trade. So it's best to do take a look at your uh, results. But don't freak out again, you know, and don't stop, you know, don't move your stop loss or take profits. If you are comfortable with your profits, you know, that, that you have already generated, you know, and you are freaking out, it's better to leave your trade and take your profits. And the last point, accept one thing, okay? Accept that you cannot control the market. Nobody can control the market. Nobody in earth can control the market, okay? And when you look at the fundamental news, whatever, nobody will, nobody knows if the market will. And remember in the Wolf of Wall Street movie, nobody knows in the whole universe if the market will go down, if the market will go up, or or freaking sideways. This was funny, you know, because sideways doesn't exist. Nobody knows, and we don't need to know. All we need to know is that there is a strong direction of the trade or if there is a continuation of the trend and if there is a great great opportunity for us presented uh, presented for us in front of our eyes and whenever we see those opportunities we pursue them uh, and, and the last but not least uh, important point is what patience 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 and patience don't expect to call it open your trade and immediately generate profits okay you know if you know if you want to generate short-term profits in five minutes you know 
that's considered to be gambling, you know, and don't do that, okay? So make sure you understand that forex trading or stock trading or CFD trading doesn't matter what you trade, you know, um, as long as it's not binary options, okay? And there, you need to give it patience. You need to have patience, and you need to give it. You need to give it some time in order to generate profits. Uh, yeah. So and um, and uh, what was else I wanted to mention? Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. There is really conflicting point. Okay, very conflicting point of, of in other forex forums, other forex books, news portals, other forex academies. As you know, I have joined many academies in the past. Here I am now giving all my knowledge to you for free here, right? But there's the thing, okay? Other books suggest that you should not... Uh, other books basically suggest that you should not... Um, you, should, you should not leave your trades early whenever you see uh, some decent profits coming, okay? Well, this is conflicting, okay? Because what, I, what, what happened to me in my experience that many times when I see my profits being there, I'm like, okay, I will wait for my take profit level to be hit, okay? But many, many times what happens is that whenever it, I do that, you know, I wait for longer, I lose my money. So basically speaking, okay, make sure you are, you know, whenever you see your profits being generated already, if you see profits already, okay, then make sure you do take a look at your charts, you know, and you do take a look at the uh, support and the resistance zones again. Yes, again, do it again. And uh, and whenever you wa you know whenever you watch those support zones again, for example, okay, uh, those will be the indications, and then you will understand should you close that trade or not, okay? Should you close that trade or not? So for what is this? So this is an hourly chart, resistance, and year USD is testing the resistance, okay? It went through, but it didn't, but it it didn't break it. It it looks like a fake breakout, okay? Uh, because it, the trade resisted in here, because of this area, and it went down, and we see this bearish candle, which is going to retrace from here, and it's going to back up. But there's the thing, okay? What I'm saying is that whenever you see the profits being generated, okay, take it, you know, and leave it, you know. If you see that resistance or supports are will be touched very, very shortly, and if you see that the trade will reverse, if you see the trade will reverse, Get the hell out of the trade and take your money, you know, be safe. Take your money. Uh, yeah, so thank you really much for watching this video. Please, please like and subscribe. Enjoy your weekend. I love you all and see you guys all again fresh on Monday. I love you all. Bye-bye. And as usual, guys, uh, if you need any help, uh, yeah, contact me at an income mentor box at gmail.com. And as usual, if you want to join my academy and follow my trades, you're welcome to join my academy. See you again and bye-bye.